Let's take a look now at a risk event, a trading volatility event for the week ahead, for the week starting Monday the 4th of December. Now, as we know, the Bank of England, the, uh, the uh, European Central Bank and the Federal Reserve have been keeping interest rates on hold recently. Now, Michelle Bullock, the newly instructed uh, and appointed uh, uh, chair of the Reserve Bank of Australia, uh, on her first meeting out in September, decided to raise interest rates by 25 basis points to 4.35 percent. Now, there could be some trading volatility in the week coming uh, on Tuesday when the RBA comes through again uh, with its interest rate decision. The big question is, is will it still be uh, looking at potentially raising rates because it says that inflation hasn't been struck out of the economy? Inflation still remains high and that is still a problem. Let's take a look at what's been happening with the Australian dollar against the US dollar because I think this could be uh, where some of the volatility will be. If there's any hint of a continuation of the hawkish attitude that we've seen uh, from the Reserve Bank of Australia, despite the fact that we've got problems with growth, despite the fact we've got problems with consumers finding it difficult uh, with interest rates as high as they are, the central bank wants to make sure that it's combated inflation, which is going to be the longer term problem for the economy. And whilst in, it's still in uh, a mode to try and get that done, I suspect we could well see some further gains to the Australian dollar uh, against uh, currencies. Now, here we have uh, risen above the 200-day moving average in the last week or so. And as we close out uh, this um, week, ending the 1st of December, uh, looking ahead to the 5th of December with this interest rate decision, if we are to get, if we're to see some more hawkish commentary coming through uh, from the Reserve Bank of Australia, we could well see further upside here. And this will just be a small retracement. Now, we've got the 200-day moving average just below where we are at 65.8 cents. 66.06 is where we're trading at the moment. If you are long on this, uh, your stop would go uh, below the 65.50 level or around the 65.50 level with a view to taking this up. Now, where could it go? Where are the next lines uh, of resistance in this. Uh, immediately, uh, we've got this line up here, which is the highs we had back on the 27th of July at 68.21. That's a couple of cents away from where we are. That would be a long travel. We'd have to see some really hawkish comments and a big interest rate rise if we were to get to that sort of level uh, for the Australian dollar. Uh, but interim on that, uh, there are some uh, interim highs. We've got another one here at uh, 67.38. Potentially would be your price target if you were to be long on this, going into that decision uh, on Tuesday. So, Michelle Bullock, What's going to happen with RBA interest rates on Tuesday?